Hi everyone, this is Norma Duaro. Today we're going to be looking at how to put graphics together. I want to build a new Facebook cover for my Facebook page. So I'll, I'll let you watch as I design mine. It will give you a few ideas of how to manipulate some graphics, make some changes, and put all of it together. Okay? So this is my uh, old banner. I'm just going to take it out of the way and keep it for a bit. And I'm going to start with, uh, I'm going to keep uh, these two backgrounds here because they're part of my branding all over social media. And this graphic here, I want to take this little avatar out of it. So let's do that right away. Just going to go and get my tool cut this out then um, Over here, take this other sort of piece out. Cut. All right. So now, now that I've got this, I can start building again. So I'm going to add a shape. This is going to be my new post, the post, uh, the, the sign pole. And bring this forward. Okay, so And I want to take the line out surrounding the the pole, so uh, yeah. no line. All right. So now that I've got that, I want to make it um, a little more real, as you know, the the other graphic has dimensions to it. But I'm going to try to make it look fit in better. Okay, so I'll we'll take this over here. Now I've got my sign there uh, beside this little road here that I added to my graphic. So let's see how that compares. What I'm going to do is add this. So it gives me, tells me the area where the graphic will appear on the Facebook page. So I know where to put my stuff. So take this out. Perfect. My picture will be go going here, and the sign uh, sign post is in the clear. I'm just going to lower it a little bit. There. So that part that part's done. What I want to do now is start thinking what I'm going to be putting over on this section. So, hold on just a second. I'm going to put a line to show me, wait, bring this forward. And I'm just going to mark 
where where this stuff shows up on Facebook so I don't um, put anything in there that will conflict so I'm just going to insert a line that'll tell me where to stop and things on here I'm going to insert another line oops Okay, so this will tell me where I need to stop adding stuff. So I'll take this out. I don't need that anymore. I can just cut it out. Okay, now I have these two graphics that I wanted to use on my cover because I want to give the uh, make a picture and give an idea of people going to shop on a website so first of all I need to get rid of the back that white has to go so let's do that right away there okay, that one's done that was nice and clean. They're not always like that. I'll try this one. piece in here. Small. That little piece here won't really show. I'll try. Uh, let's see. Seems like I can't get just that little piece. So, oh, maybe here. Yeah, let's try. There. Okay. Now I've got something to work with. And okay. Now Now I don't really want them to look alike, so I'm going to have to change maybe the color of the outfit or the the head. So I'm just going to go find uh, another graphic. Okay, so. Let's find another head. Let's see. Well, what this one? Let's see. Oops. 
Where'd you go? Right here. All right, so I want to use her head. What I'm going to do is we'll chop it off. Not going to worry about about the hair right yet. Okay. I'm going to take the white off. And let's see. Okay, so I'm going to take this head off. Paying attention not to take out anything off of her blouse, her, her collar there. That will show. And bring this over here. I'm going to have to take off a little bit of this, these pieces of hair. And what I'm going to do is go to my freehand brush and take out the blue. And too big. No, that's not the right color. Is that? There we go. And we'll use my other tools to blend it in. Oh, my fraction is not good. Try to make it look as natural as you can.
Oh, it's not working. Well, let me just change the color just a bit. I'm not going to worry too much about it because the hair is going to come on here. So I'll just maybe take out the color completely. Okay, and go take a little bit of this color. And try to blend that in. Okay, so let's just see how that works. Now, where is it? My hand. That looks pretty good. I think it's pretty na natural. I'm just gonna connect it together. But really, I don't think I like having her have the same color top as the other girl. So maybe I'll keep her with this top and we'll change the other one. Uh, I'll take this white. Now, let's see. You can see there is like a little white line around where I took off the white. I'm just going to go and um, take it off a little bit. Go to Tool uh, Effects. The edges, you click Soft, and then you can go up one point at a time. So I'm just going to use one. And you can see that it took it off a little bit. You can't take too much off because it really, it really, really not so well. So this is my shelter number one. Now, now I'm going to address this one because I don't want her to have the same color top as the other one. So what I'm going to do is make a copy of her. This in here, and take this one, and I'm going to chop off her head. And her hand. I think I'll leave the bags because we could change the color bags. That would be that would be nice to have different color bags. The reason I'm cutting off her face, her hands, and her legs is because I don't want the color of her skin to change. So I'm just going to take the whole thing off here. Then take off her hand. I guess you're wondering what I'm doing now. Okay, so now I've got an outfit to work with and I can go change the colors on it. I'll just go to touch up and change the U to use. So uh, let's just play around with it. See how did the colors change? Mm 
You can choose whatever you want. I think I'm going to go with um, something like this. Oops. Let me check the other colors again. Yeah, I think I like this one. So there you go. I've got my new outfit. I'm just going to take it and bring it forward. And I'm going to go add it over the other one. I want to make sure to, uh, to hide the blue. There you go. There's my new girl. So, <clears throat> I'm just going to go look, have a quick look um, at my old doing something. Okay. Gives me an idea where I can place these girls. So I'll just put this one here. Maybe I should be putting this one here. I'll have two. We'll take off a little bit of the white that you can still see here. So. Let you stop. Layering is important too when you are putting a graphic together. It looks better than it, than just having everything just you know everywhere but not touching it. So it's nice to have them uh, group them together. It gives like a more natural look. It's like it's like they're two girls shopping together. There. So now I'm ready to add some text in here. So I'll just I just chose something something quick just to put something in here so you could see how it all comes out. Chop till you drop.
change that. A lot more sharper on your blog. Let's go put that in a brighter color. Play around with everything until you feel that it fits. Just trying out to see where they, they look better. I think this is better on the right here. And one more chopper is on your draw. I really don't want to put it too high. Let them find you. Put it a little bit darker. Well, let's see how that works. I'll just add my website here so give them a point of reference.
or put it a little bit wider. And take out the bowl. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to take off. Oh, not that thing. Wait. Undo. I'm going to take off those markers. And, and we're going to go see what it looks like um, on my Facebook page. You see how things are, are all layered over here? It gives it a, a nice uh, effect. So, okay. Change color. Upload a photo. And we're going to go to desktop. That's where I put it. Project number two. There you are. There you go. Looks pretty good. Okay, save it. And there you go. You've got all these little things there. They're not where text should be. So everything can be read pretty easily. And there you go. The graphic is all done up and ready to go. I hope you enjoyed this session. I will be uh, uh, putting up maybe one or two more videos so you can see how to put together simple uh, graphics to post on your Facebook uh, pages and other areas on social media. So, till next time, hope you enjoyed it and learned a lot. Bye bye.